So one of the discussions that come up often in my uh, hands-on HPLC classes is how do we clean or how do we regenerate an HPLC column? So it's, uh, it's simple to do, and let me give you the instructions or the recipe to clean your column. So I'll start off with a, uh, an, an assumption. Let's assume that you're using a reversed phase column, which most of us are. Reverse phase means you're running methanol water or acetonitrile water on that column. Those columns can get dirty, and uh, they're relatively simple to clean. So step one, I would start with a high percent percentage of water. Now I know that sounds backwards because water is a weak solvent, but uh, water is a great solvent for very polar things like all the buffers, the salts, the azo dyes, things that may have accumulated in the, in the instrument. So we start off with 90-10 water methanol or water acetonitrile, which is everyone you're using. Um, and we're gonna run that through the instrument. If you wanna be really conservative, we say set it at one millimeter set the column temperature to 60 degrees Celsius, uh, let it run for, uh, for an hour. So you got one hour of hot water running through the instrument, every buffer, every salt is gone forever. Uh, step two, we just step it up to 100% acetonitrile or 100% methanol. You let it run there for an hour at 60 degrees Celsius. That will remove all the nonpolars from your column. So at the end of that, little, at the end of that two hours, uh, your column is as good as new. Now, if there's any physical problems, if your column has settled, which shame on you, you should be using monodisperse dispersed material, but if your column has settled and left empty space, uh, you can't fix that. That one is, is, is dead. So if you have physically damaged the column, you can't fix it. But most people are simply contaminating their columns or you know, getting uh, stuff building up on it. Um, it happens when you have really nonpolar things, usually just trace amounts in a, in a matrix. Let's say you're running coffee samples all day long, you're looking for caffeine, very water soluble, nonpolar stuff, but over time, the oils in, in coffee will build up in the column and they are gonna start to cause problems later on. So how do we clean them off? Again, uh, you know, first get rid of the salts, get rid of the buffers, then step up to 100%. Now the conservative approach is one hour with, with each of those solvents. In a pinch, you could do it, I would do 10 minutes with the, with the uh, high percentage of water, you know, do 20 minutes with a high percentage of acetone, with 100% acetonitrile, you're gonna clean the column. Very few things on this planet can stick on the column under those conditions. So that will help you uh, take care of any reversed phase columns. Um, I think that's the majority of the people out there. If you have a, a specific one, you know, a normal phase column, well, normal phase, you sort of do the opposite, use hexane to, to, to clean it. If you're doing ion exchange, um, we typically use a very uh, high salt content you know, a couple hundred millimolar of salt, and it depends if you're doing anion or cation exchange, but if you're doing it, you probably uh, should know which one of those uh, you're doing. So, um, so if you have more questions, uh, feel free to let us know, and I'm happy to uh, answer them. And if you want to come hang out with us, we do these five-day classes here at Axion uh, in Chicago, where you get to take apart the instruments, put them back together, both HPLC and GC uh, in the class. So uh, keep the questions coming, and I'll keep sending you some answers.